So hey. Wait, should I leave this or should I? Let me see. But I don't want to mess it up. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why I touched it anyway. Hey, it's your girl. Mm. Hey, it's your girl India back with my nails. It's your girl India back with another video. As you can see by the title, I did pink here all on my own. I dyed it pink, like pastel pink, like a pink lemonade. Yeah. So if you want to know how I got this wig to be pink, how I dyed this wig, watercolor method, or method, however y'all say it. Stay tuned. Keep watching this video. Hope you enjoy this video. Learn something. Da -da -da -da. Yeah, before we get into this, don't forget to subscribe if you are not already subscribed to my channel. And at the end of this video, you can like it and you can comment if you want. All right? Add me on my social media. It's going to all be in the um, description box. Yada, yada, yada. <laughs> but let's get straight to the other clip. So before I get um show y'all how I dyed the wig, I'll tell you a little about the hair. So this hair I got it from I don't know how to say it. I don't know, I don't wanna say it wrong. K L A I Y I. Kalai. Yeah, Kalai hair. This is the box came in. A little, you know, cardboard box. It gives you their Facebook, Instagram, and their YouTube page, I guess. And inside of it came with lashes. I wore the lashes already um, for Thanksgiving. They're pretty cool. They're pretty cool. I like that they came with lashes because a lot of women don't come with lashes. This is my first time buying a wig that came with lashes. All of them come with caps, but not lashes. So these came with, yeah, they came with caps, came with lashes, and they came with um, purple clips. I really don't want to stand up to show y'all these purple clips, but they came in purple clips. <laughs> I'm really feeling lazy right now, and I don't want to pick it up. So in the back of the box shows you, like, questions, how to wash the wig, and all that extra stuff. So this is, I believe, 16 inch. If I'm wrong, I'm going to put it in the description box for you, so you will know. Um... What else you need to know? I think it's is this. I really don't remember the densities. I don't feel like going to look. But I'm gonna put everything in the description for you. This video is mostly for people who want to know how to watercolor method here. And this is gonna this is gonna be like a kind of detail, but uh, not too long. But if you think it's too long, you can skip. You can skip because I always do that anyway. But you can skip and see. But it's this pretty easy method. It's pretty fun, pretty cool, like experimenting and stuff. Whatever. So, yeah, as you can see, the parting is like the it's a lot of parting. I love it. it. Looks good. Looks natural. Let me see closer. Yeah, it's really nice. I wore it for my birthday. It was nice. I can insert pictures or whatever if you want. Yeah, I might do that. If not, just add me on Instagram. You can see my picture. But, yeah, let me stop talking and go right into this video. Okay, guys. So, as you can see, I got, like, <laughs> I didn't feel like getting, like, a bowl or a container. Or, like, you know, people use them storage things. I just use freaking ending of salad. Like, I mean, not ending of salad, but a salad container. I use that. So, I'm using two dyes right now from a door. I used neon pink and pink petal. Wait, you, did I use pink petal? Yeah, yeah, I think I used neon pink and pink petal. So I'm just quarting them in there. Just not by, not using any teaspoon, just quarting them in there. I was just experimenting, kind of scared. Didn't know if it was going to come out too hot pink, because I didn't want it to. I wanted it to be exactly how it came out. So you know what I'm saying? So I was just squirting in there, mixing, didn't use a spoon. <laughs> I used what was next to me, freaking makeup brush. So just keep turning. And then I dipped the blonde hair inside the container. And just played with it, soaked it in there, did what I had to do. 
I don't really, I'm not good at voiceovers. This is my first time, so you probably like, bitch, shut the fuck up. <laughs> but I'm having fun with it. Alright, so, yeah, I'm just mix it in there. Mm-hmm. Yep. So I'm back. I probably sound weird because I'm kind of sick right now, but just try to ignore it. So I kept adding more, adding more because it wasn't, um, the hair wasn't absorbing it fast enough. So I was like, okay, let me just put more color in it. Maybe it'll um, latch onto the hair faster. So I just, that's how you see the um, water became darker. So I just kept squeezing, literally just kept squeezing both of them in there. So I can't really tell you the exact amount to put in there. But I just went with the flow, added more, and just wait for it. So I felt like it was finally kind of changing after a while. So, oh my gosh, <laughs> don't mind my nails. <laughs> So my nails, but it actually changed to the color that I wanted. I was happy. It didn't even take long. I probably let it sit for like less than 10 minutes. And then I took it to the sink. I washed it out with some water, shampoo, and conditioner. Yeah, I don't really need to see how I did this. I don't need to talk to this. Y'all know how to, um, well, I would hope y'all know how to, um, wash hair. But, yeah, I'm gonna shut up now. Yeah, don't forget to do that. Buy this wig. If you're feeling, you know, a little Barbie. Or like a little Bob. Or whatever. Color it. Have fun with it. Watercolor method. Watch my video. I told you how to. I taught you. And... <laughs> I'll see you next time in my next video. Boom, boom, clap.